In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a composite with a title. Composite means putting one video together with another one to create a final uh, piece or having two, uh, you can think about it as well as having two items melted together to create one final product. So in this case, we're going to do a title with video inside of it. So, and still have a transparency on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and select this video here. And here's our video. And I'll bring this into the timeline. I'll make the settings the same so that way I don't have to sit here and render. And then I'm going to create a title. So I'm going to go to the viewer, select on text, and I'm just going to select the good old text. And here you'll see sample text. I'm going to go ahead and in the viewer, select controls, make the text larger, maybe about 80 point, oh, 76 is good. Okay, and there it is. And I'll make this bold. So it'll be nice and thick. There you go. Ah, we're I'm wonderful. And now we're going to go ahead and take this sample text and save it. Many people keep forgetting that if you double click on an item now, so let's say I worked on this again, my title is essentially gone. There is no title there. So if I move the viewer, you'll see that there is no title in the back. You have to save a title in your browser in order to keep it and have it be part of your project. So once again, I'll go to the text, select on text, and I'll select the controls. Again, make this about 70 something points, 76. 76 to 80 is good if you want to make a very prominent title. And I'll keep it white. Once again, I'll make it bold. So in style, I'll select on bold. And I'll see in the video is nice thick uh, text. Again, to save it, I'll select it, drag it to the viewer. And now you'll see here it says text. So that is my text. So that way, once again, if I were to open up this item, all I have to do is select on my text now, and there it is. Again, with all the properties to be able to edit that. I'm going to go ahead and select my title, or my clip, I'm sorry, that's in the timeline. Move it up one track. As you saw, when I drag it up to an empty area, it creates a new track. I'll select this title and put it underneath. So there it is underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and make this the same length. So I have a title underneath and I have a clip on top. To see the clip underneath, I can select the visible button and you will see that it shows my title underneath it. I'll go ahead and select on the title, on the clip that is, in the video. Right click on there. Go to where it says composite mode. In composite mode, and I'll zoom into that. In composite mode, you can select add, subtract, difference, multiply, screen, overlay, hard light, soft light, darken, lighten, travel mat, or luva, luma. So, each one will give you a different uh, look. So if I were to select on add, uh, that didn't do anything for us. Subtract, eh, that has a little bit of something inside of it. Uh, difference, you'll see both of them there. So different composite modes will give you different looks. But what we're looking for is travel mat alpha, which will show the video inside of our text and you will see that that's the item that we have there now you can still 
select the title or I should say the video and resize the video and you will see that by resizing it you'll see more of the video you can also select to show different portions of the video inside the text so let's say this is the portion I want to show now you'll see that inside your video now you'll see this red lovely line on top of my timeline or my sequence. Um, that means that I have to render. So if I were to press play, it'll say unrendered. But let's say I don't want to sit here and wait for render. I can select the option key and the letter P. P as in preview. And it will go ahead and play that without rendering. So that's a little shortcut to bypass having to render. It does not play in real time but at least you get to preview what you've created. If you're happy with that, you go ahead and keep that and continue working with your other items. You can also select to make this uh, one clip by nesting it. There are many different options that you have there, but this is how you create a title with video inside of it. Now, some people may ask, well, yeah, I want to have this over another video. So I'll go ahead and show that. If I were to go ahead and bring in another video clip, so I'll bring uh, one, let's bring something from here and I'll go ahead and select this video here. So I'll take these two clips that I selected, move them up. So I create another track. I'll take this video, put it underneath and let's see what we get so if I were to play that you will see that our two videos that were put together are in fact together and I can go ahead and if I choose both at the same time go ahead and play that so you will see that the video is seen underneath so I was able to put both the text and the video together when you do that in the composite mode you will go ahead and have still have your alpha channel alpha channel means transparency and once again option P to preview that so you'll see that the text has video inside of it and the video still plays as well so I have multiple multimedia going on here or multiple videos playing at the same time and it gives you a very nice effect Thanks for visiting Making the Real.